it's time for the celebrity snitch, Huggy Lowdown. Huggy! What's the deal, Pickles? Is everything kosher? Yeah, everything's kosher. Tom Joyce. Huggy Lowdown. Silver Wheels. Hello, Hug. And J. Anthony Brown. What up, Hug? The man with the new huns. <laughs> the woman who's brighter than the sun and the ghost writer of Junior Walker's shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't talking about a weapon. <laughs> it's an Amsterdam shame, Jay. Jay does change that song up like that. But speaking of shotgun, I heard that guilty bastard George Zimmerman pointed a shotgun in his pregnant girlfriend's face. Yeah, man. And did I miss something, Sybil? It seems like this murderer was just at his white house doing the same domestic <laughs> thing. Yes. Why the focaccia is his ass out anyway? <laughs> How many run-ins with the real police he had since he was acquitted? And who is this strumpet that's having a Zimmerman baby? <laughs> Where do guilty, acquitted murderers go to meet women? <laughs> now, those jurors understand that Zimmerman's actions put a spotlight on how they effed up, Sybil. Yes. <laughs> he may be physically free, but he's mentally incarcerated. And it won't be long before they coincide. Yes. Oh, yeah. In the words of Brooke, Brooke Benton, it's just a matter of time. Someday, some way. <laughs> he needs an Ariel Castro necktie for Christmas. That's what he needs. <laughs> Cold-blooded. <laughs> Tom Silver Jay, they still talking about the prostate exam the Eagles gave my skin. <laughs> they also talking about that referee that cussed out one of our players on Sunday. Now... I think that official was wrong for cussing that Trent Williams like that. He should have cussed at all those mofos. We were down 24 nothing. Somebody needs to cuss their asses up. We're three and seven. That ref's doing the same thing the fans doing. The Shanahan's of Landover needs to start cussing. Shiga D, when did the NFL get so sensitive? No. What happened to the Mean Joe Greens, the Bubba Smiths, the Ed Too Tall Jones? <laughs> hey, so Toronto's most popular crackhead, Mayor Rob Ford, just won't go away, will he? Nope. Well, that's just like a crackhead, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all see him at the city council meeting running around and screaming like a Peterbilt with no brakes? <laughs> I mean, he even knocked down a council member and busted her lip. I mean, they stripped him of all his power. Yep, they took his crack case, Sybil. <laughs> and if he didn't hide that crack in his crack, they would have they would have taken that. They would have taken that. I said took him. <laughs> DC public schools, the Redskins make you talk like that. They make you, they make you speak in that way. They would have took him. It's getting worse and worse. <laughs> Ask me how my man, Sybil. How mad are you? You think I'm a man? <laughs> Is him? <laughs> Is you? <laughs> they make you speak in that way, Sybil. Hey, Jay, tell them, tell them the zebra joke, man. I don't have time. There's a zebra loose up here in D.C. Attack the zoo worker. Yeah, and the zebra got more yardage than anybody on the road. <laughs> <skin. laughs>